Hello there guys, welcome back once again to From the Ash. Good to have you here for another video. I've popped out for a walk. It is, no, no, I haven't got my watch on. Went to look at my watch, haven't got one on. It's about three o'clock, I think, or half three um, on a Friday afternoon. And I've popped out for my walk. Uh, as you've seen already in the vlog a little bit, it's been quite a busy day at home today. Um, I didn't film all of it, but I was doing basically a lot of, well, a lot of typing really. I'm in the middle of a mammoth essay at the moment, which is taking up all of my time. So I wasn't doing a lot particularly vlog worthy, but I decided today that I would get the camera out. I'm actually filming right now on my new camera. This is my GoPro. I had a GoPro previously, but it was a, a bit of an older one and I had the opportunity to upgrade it. So I thought I'd go for the top end one. I've gone for the GoPro Hero 10, which is what I'm filming on now. And it's, it's very good. I'm very happy with it so far. But I just popped out for a walk. I thought we would get the camera out, have a little chat. And if you are new to the channel as well, good opportunity to say subscribe because 2022, the plans are starting to come together for different things that are gonna be happening this year on the channel. And I've got two cameras now, so it's twice as likely that I'll be filming stuff. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you're here for the journey. I really do appreciate every single one of you that subscribes. Your support is invaluable. Anyway, I've come to my local sports field, uh, which is a few minutes walk from where I live, very, very close. And this actually right here, in fact, I'm just arriving in the field now, you can see it behind me here. This area was my lifeline during our three lockdowns that we had. Just to come here for my daily walk with Joe. And we only discovered it on like the first day of lockdown or one of the first few days of lockdown anyway. And you know, we still try and do those daily walks when we can. I've been at home all day today getting bits done, as I mentioned, but actually to get out and have a walk, it's a good way to clear the mind, isn't it? That's one of those lockdown things that's really stuck for me. You know, the, the willingness to go for a walk. I never used to be much of a daily walker. I like going for hikes, but going out for a walk every day was not, was not me. But I feel like if you do it in the mornings particularly, it just sets you up for the day, it gives you clarity of mind, gets you in a good place to start the day. Should have done that this morning really, because it's been quite a busy day of essay writing and that clarity of thought would have been very, very valuable <laughs> as I was writing all those words down. But never mind, the important things that you get out, you know, even though COVID is coming to an end, still important to look after yourself, your mental health, your physical health as well. You know, it is coming to an end, apparently. They're saying that all restrictions, such as wearing masks, etc., are going to be lifted by the end of this month. So it does appear, and that I've heard a couple of experts talking about it, been saying that how, you know, we really are at the, the end of this now. I'm going to go off piece slightly because there's quite a few people on the pathway there. But um, yeah, anyway, COVID, apparently, things are moving in the right direction it seems to be i heard an expert on the tv saying that you know soon we will be at a point where the pandemic's not a threat anymore you know it just becomes something that we live with and it's part of daily life which is you know amazing because it's been a long time hasn't it it's been a long long time for all of us living under some form of restriction or you know just a different way of life and you know particularly recently I just think things have been really difficult for people again you know more so with the the news of what's been going on in downing street i'm gonna step back a little bit there's a sun in my eyes even with the news of everything that's been going on in downing street it's it's not been easy for people you know well it's been easy for those breaking the rules because they've it seems as though they've just done whatever they wanted i don't like to get too political on this channel um and talk about covid and all of that too much but you can't help but notice what's what's been going on obviously it's been all over the news that our leaders have just been breaking the rules willy-nilly seemingly doing whatever they want having whoever they want over whenever they want to do it you know to i it makes me cross it really does because i just think so many good people kept to the rules to the point where they weren't able to say goodbye to loved ones who were dying they had elderly relatives who were in care homes who couldn't be visited you know a lot of people a lot of you perhaps watching this live alone and all of that was happening and you weren't able to go see people even though you really really wanted to 
and while we were doing all of that while we were all trying our best to keep to the rules the government the people at the top weren't trying their best at all they were just doing whatever they wanted to do you know they were laughing at us laughing at us joking having a nice glass of red wine and i love a glass of red wine as you guys know on this channel it's not about that it's just it makes a mockery for me this is this is one of the biggest scandals to ever hit this country and certainly to ever hit this government you know and the people in boris johnson's party need to do what's right they need to do what's right and, and make right towards the british people because i get that a lot of them weren't doing it i get that a lot of them weren't at the party but their boss was and so they need to call that out anyway that's all i'm going to say about that i don't really want to talk about covid type things too much things are moving in the right direction and i hope and i pray that no matter what your personal situation is with all of this that in life you're doing okay and that you're going into 2022 feeling feeling good and feeling strong but if you're not you know if you're in a place right now where things are very difficult and you know i've been talking to a lot of friends recently about their plans for the year and actually for a lot of people things are very difficult in lots of different ways right now so no matter where you're at and what's going on right now i hope you're okay i really do anyway rant over rant over i didn't plan on ranting about all of that just thought i'd bring my camera out and see what happens but there you go apparently some sometimes it's good to talk isn't it sometimes good to get that off your chest and feel like i've done that a little bit so yeah i hope things are going good for you i'm freezing by the way hence the massive scarf I've got a cap on, but I wish I'd worn a woolly hat. It's one of those sort of days where the cold, I mean, again, I will say, I hope you're enjoying this video because my hand is freezing cold. So the price of this video may well be frostbite. <laughs> I'll see you in the next part of the video, whatever that is. I haven't really, I genuinely today, I don't really have a plan. So let's see where we end up next. And the place you find me is in the kitchen, making my third coffee of the day. It's fueling the essay writing. Give it a stir. There we go. And I'm pretty sure, let's have a look. Yes, there is one crispy cake left and it's mine. How am I gonna carry the coffee and the cake and the camera? Maybe I'll come back for the coffee. Let's put the cake in the study. I don't often show the study off by the way, but I'll I'll reveal it to you in a second. In fact, let me just go and get my coffee. There we go. One fresh cup of coffee. Mmm, it's good. It's good. It is Kenko, like it's instant coffee. We've got a cafetiere that we do use as well. Uh, but sometimes an instant coffee is all that's required, and this is one of those times. Anyway. This is the room I'm normally in, as you can see, the lounge, kitchen, diner vibes. But I'm gonna be hanging out in here today. This is like the, our study. It's the nerve center of From the Ash and of Joe's violin business as well. We both work in this room. I don't often show this room off because it is a little bit, you know, you look at it and you might think it's a bit messy, but actually if I kind of show you what it all is, this is like my area here. So this is where I edit all the vlogs, I've got my headphones there, photo guitars in the corner. This is monitor for editing, charging station here. Obviously the Mac is there with the uh, computer chair that we use. And this is all the vlogging stuff that I use day to day. So you've got tripods in there, cameras, cables, ring lights, everything is there. And then all of this stuff is for Joe's violin business. She has a lot of violin books and sheet music and different things. So that's all there. Then we've got the printer. And then over in this corner, we've got, this is like Joe's calendar on the wall. And then over here, we've got Joe's stands. Her violin goes here as well. Nice little sofa. And there we go. That is our, that's our study. Like I say, it does, I can see why people would think it looks messy, but to me, it's, uh, it's organized chaos. You know, and I'm, as you guys know on this channel, and as anybody who knows me would know, I'm an incredibly neat and tidy person. So I don't mind this, you know, this is okay because this is organized chaos. We know where everything is that we need. It's not like untidy or dirty, do you know what I mean? But it's, everything's, everything's here. And if it looks chaotic, that's okay. Do you know what? You can't go wrong with one of these, can you? A cornflake cake 
Is it an Easter nest? Oh yeah, I did these last year on my channel, actually. I did a video making these, but Joe made some and they are full of chocolate, nice and crunchy. Very, very good. You find me in the office. I'm essay writing again today, That hence the coffee. Um, a lot of people often wonder what my day-to-day -day looks like, so obviously I don't have a traditional nine-to-five. I have my YouTube channel and I'm in the middle of studying towards my BA in theology. I'm a third year, so there's lots of essay writing to be done. It's basically an essay a week at the moment, or at least that's how it feels. Um, there's lots to be written. The dissertation I haven't even started yet, but that's due in like four months, so I need to get on with that. So day to day, a lot of the time I am sitting right here where you where you see me right now. And uh, you know, some days it's editing, some days it's essay writing, but it's always here. So pretty much, if you ever find yourself watching these videos and you're thinking, I wonder what Ash is up to right now. It's just this, I'm here, sat here, either editing a video you're watching or writing an essay. But I love it, do you know what? I love it because both of those things feel very, productive, they feel like they're something that is driving me forwards into the things that I'm gonna be doing in my future. You know, my YouTube channel, I've always loved editing videos, I've always loved making videos, and so none of this feels like a hobby or a, a waste at all. This for me very much feels like I'm investing in my future, and of course going for a BA in theology is a massive investment in one's future as well, so yeah, all of these days sat at this computer chair doing various things on the Mac right here, it feels good and it feels productive. Oh, while I've got you here actually, and a lot of people have been asking if I'm gonna be going to uh, another Manchester United match anytime soon, because a lot of you I think were brought to the channel for my football context. I went to a couple of games uh, at the end of October last year, one of which was amazing, Ronaldo late winner. The other one not so amazing, <laughs> lost five nil to Liverpool. But a lot of people have been asking if I'm gonna go back I am trying and I've just had an email from Manchester United because I did apply for some tickets in the ballot for the Middlesbrough FA Cup game. I've just had an email which should be my result. Did I get the tickets or not? Let's have a look. Oh, I didn't get them. Ballot has now taken place and unfortunately your application has been unsuccessful. So there you go, I won't be going to the Middlesbrough FA Cup game. Like I say, I am trying. I'm trying to get back into Old Trafford to watch a game. Uh, all you can do really is apply for tickets, particularly if you're not a season ticket holder, that's that's your best bet, really. I have also applied for tickets for the Athletic Champions League game. I don't think I'm gonna get those, but hopefully I do, because I would love to take you along for another video. So. Bear with me, I'm doing my best on that front. This isn't one of the most exciting videos I'll ever release, I'll give you that, but it was released in 4K. Did that to make it a little bit more exciting for you. Um, and also I am filming on the GoPro Hero 10 in black, which is a 4K camera. It can actually shoot in 5K as well, but I'm editing this one in 4K. It's not something I do very often, but if you've got the capability, why not watch it in 4K? It's gonna look even better than normal. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. Little catch up -y type vlog. I hope you're okay, every single one of you. Um, I just sat a moment ago and watched Prime Minister's Questions. It seems like this whole party gate thing is not necessarily going away, and I know that it can be stressful. And so I just, I really hope you guys are okay. I hope you're all coping with everything that's going on. It does feel like we're getting to the end. It really does feel like that now, uh, which is exciting. You know, we can start to think and again about the future and dream and, you know, we were in such a better position to what we were two years ago. And I can't believe that we're still, you know, treading this same path of COVID two years on. But thankfully it feels like that path is about to, about to end and we're about to go into a better season. So keep going guys, we're getting there. See you soon for another video. I promise the next one will be more interesting. <laughs> See you guys, bye bye.